in this video i'll be showing you how to connect your sales page to Cretel. now in this video we're going to be focusing on how to connect your wordpress based sales page that is any sales page that you built on wordpress either elementor um or tribe architects you know any page builder that is based on wordpress that is the focus of this video in a previous video we have um done this same tutorial using page builders like uh, lead pages and systemic and um, in that video i mentioned that if you want to connect your sales page the steps are actually very similar you usually just need to check for that similar thing on your own page builder or maybe you're even using a, an HTML website that you built from scratch. It's still the same thing. So let's get right to it. So the first thing I would say is that if you want your product to be promoted by affiliates, you have to make sure that you have toggled on that functionality. In this case, I'm going to show you how I did this product. If you go to the checkout tab, you will notice that there is a toggle that says allow affiliates to market product and then how much how much percentage are you willing to pay affiliate in this case i say 10 percent so make sure you've done that because if you don't do that even after connecting your sales page affiliate should not be able to promote your products but if you do that then in the marketplace affiliate will see your product you know with their unique link that they can use to promote you know that product so that is very very important all right so that being said let's get right to it so i have a sales page here all right the url this is just a test so don't don't focus too much on my sales page you know the url for this sales page let's let's imagine this is a sales page the url for this sales page is createcell.co.uk so i'll copy this then i'll go to createcell.com i mean back to createcell and then i'll check for the products i want to connect my sales page to i'll click here and click connect sales page here i'll paste the link to that my sales page enter the url of your sales page and then i'll click submit it says sales page successfully connected then there's an instruction here make sure you copy the link below and click continue so i'll click here to copy the link and then i'll click here to continue then it says paste the link you copied on the previous page here so i'll just paste that here and then i'll select the desired button now you have a lot of beautiful buttons to use but pick the one that is most suited for your sales page it might be because it might be based on your sales page color theme you know so i'm just going to select this purple color here and then i'll click submit almost done then yeah these are the, this these last two steps are with all you have to do for your sales page to be connected now pay very close attention i'm going to click here it says to copy and paste this link before the closing body tag or footer code of your sales page i'm going to click here and copy this link right and then i'll go to my sales page builder this is wordpress now these are my pages in and this is the front page that you saw just now i'm going to edit you can either edit it or just say edit with elementor because I'm using Elementor in this case, you might be using Tribe Architect. The steps are very similar, right? You have the page, edit it without your page reader, you know, and then, I mean, it's loading up right now. Now, this is the page builder right here, right here. Now, there are two methods to pasting your script. If you're using Elementor Pro, that is a pro version of Elementor, you don't need to come to your elementor i'm just going to duplicate this page i all you need to do is go back to your wordpress and then i'll just over on elementor here and click come to custom code just click on custom code and then there's no custom code added there so you click on add new and then it says to add the title i'm just going to call it sales page then what location i'll click on the closing body tag which is the one with the end and then i'll save i will paste this code this code that i copied here that is what i pasted here now i want to say that say this at this point that 
if you already um maybe you have multiple pages on your on your wordpress site when you come to that custom code you have to select the page you want to do this to but in my own case i think i have just one page so that's why it's i didn't have to specify which page i want to work with it just takes me straight to creating the custom code so now having added this i will click on publish now now he asked me at this point so this is also something that can happen he asked me if where i want to display the custom code so you so here i'm just going to click on you know the entire site in this case because i don't have multiple you know i don't have multiple pages as is the way it's not a big site but in case you have other things you can ask it to exclude you know you can ask it to exclude some maybe pages and all of that and then you can click on okay exclude the page but in this case i'm not going to say include the entire site if you have multiple pages on your website you want to do a different thing but usually if you have multiple pages it would have asked it would have shown you before it even before you even um, add the code all right to not waste time i'm going to click on save and close then it's publishing now the code has been added then i can go back to the page which i have opened already i have so you go to the page you edit with your page with that which in my own case is elemental now you look at the buttons here you have this button this action button call to action then another one here so you want to replace every call to action button on your sales page with the button from create help and that is this second thing copy and paste this code as a custom or raw html for your sales page button so i'm going to click here to copy this then i will go back to my page builder i'm going to click here and delete this button all i need to do i right click of your mark you just click with both with two fingers and then you click on delete then i've deleted that button so what do you do just go on that general so this is layout basic pro on that general you will see a widget for html drag this and i'll drop it where the button was before now click on it and then on the left left side here you have the custom html code which i will paste here you can see it's immediately showing so and i think this would it would do this for um tribe architect or so in, for some platforms you will not see the button immediately until you publish and view the site either ways you would you know be able to figure it out so i'm going to scroll all the way down and do the same thing for the second button here i'll click on it and then i'm going to delete it then i would come to go to the widget again general and html then i'll drag and drop it here click on it i'll paste that same code again the button code and i'm going to click on update so now i have updated it it means that if i visit my sales page now by refresh this the button must have changed and then i'll click i'll refresh i'll refresh this and the button has been added right here you have the button already added so if someone you know comes to my sales page maybe a prospect and they click on this call to action button is going to take them right to my product on create sale where they can make the purchase if you look at it you remember that that was a product you know where they can make the purchase for that product you see so that essentially is what all you need to know about connecting your elemental or tribe architect sales page to create sale now if you notice that i said for pro People that have pro account on Elementor, Travaki, that you want to go to this, you know, custom code, you know, to add the code to the closing body tag. But what if you're using a free Elementor? Because I've seen such scenarios. If you're using a free Elementor, all you need to do is navigate somewhere close to the end of your um, of your sales page, and then just go to can go to drag an html you know widget and just try to and just paste it somewhere 
at the bottom i think i can add can i add a widget from here so i can just add the section let's just add the section or you can just drop it so let's say you can drop it anywhere essentially so i'm going to drop it let's say i drop it here and then i will paste this script that i had it as a custom code you know in the closing body tag then i will paste it here and then i will update it now when i do this i've done the same thing you know the same thing that i did with adding it to the custom code has been done to this page by doing this now you can see that you want to paste it you know in a in a place where it will not reflect that is because by doing this is looking like maybe there's something on this page you know and that's because this kind of code is not a button code that we show immediately but i'm going to delete this because i have the pro elementor so i don't need to do that again i already added it to the custom code for that page so i've already done that so this is how you do it but if you're using a free elementor like i said you cannot add custom code it's a paid feature for elementor now i encourage you to subscribe to elementor i'm just telling you how you can do this in, if you don't have um a paid version of elementor you know or tribe architect as it were so you can also still use that custom html so i hope this video has been helpful um don't forget to leave your questions under this video if you have any questions about how to connect your sales page but i think that is simple enough for you to understand if you have any questions please feel free to let me know thank you and bye